So hi you guys. Um, there's been so much happening over the past few, I think about the last week, over the last week. And so far we've had issues ranging in America. We've had issues from the entertainment part where Chris Brown versus Soldier Boy to these four idiots who kidnapped this autistic boy, I think. And they tortured him and it was so horrible. I felt so bad and I hope those guys, the law is strictly applied like and they go to jail. Like we don't need such people in society no matter which part of the world you live in. That is just so wrong on so many levels. I don't care what if you do not agree with the president who is there or president-elect, whatever. No, just no. You didn't, you, you, your preferred candidate didn't win. You're saying you don't want racism and yet you are hating on another race and torturing them because they are white. That's fucked up on so many levels. I mean, a lot of us have been put in situations where the leader is not the one we, we wanted, but whatever, it happens, shit happens. Anyway, so from there we've got, of course, the Christians come in. They're going crazy back in my country, or some of them at least. They're going crazy in my country. First we have this um, pastor. Who said, you know what, I'm going to turn, there's going to be this New Year's thing and I'm going to be turning water into wine. And I'm going to be turning whatever into whatever, you know, magicians. I like to call them magicians. Tricks and shit. And a lot of a lot of people who are also Christian, like, I am so happy that more and more people are beginning to love to read and research on their own. Even though they want to believe in a God, they know what. That they just want something to believe in and that's cool and they're not letting these pastors and prophets lie to them and tell them all this bullshit that's going on like what am i going to be doing with wine okay you're going to turn water into wine what am i going to do with that is it going to make my life better well it is for a moment there but whiskey yeah maybe we can talk about that but it's just so crazy it's so crazy that they are they are lying to people not only that we now have this ministry of religious and blah 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 and it is there now and guess what? We had an outbreak of armyworms. And what does the president decide to do? Hmm? With his minister of religion and whatever shit that is. To pray the armyworms away. So I'm going to read to you some of the comments. This, this was all over the news. I'm going to read to you some of the comments on there. It was just so crazy. So the president calls for National Day of Prayers against armyworms. Pray those armyworms away. Read them away. Jesus' name. So he's minister of religious, which is crazy. You notice this. Religious and Muslim affairs. Godfrey has just confirmed this, which was uh, on the 3rd of January. So the, she said that the president had given her clear instructions to set a day and present a budget for the same prayers before the end of this week. So they're going to put to use money. This is how stupid and crazy this shit is. They're going to use money to send about 500,000 kwacha. They're going to use that money to put into prayers instead of using that money to buy insecticide or some shit like that. Use science. Science is always the best anyway. I know. It's so crazy. On the other hand, Lungo says he has no money for orphans to get into universities. Ah, oh, wait. So there is no money to put orphans into uh, universities. But there is money for the day of prayers. And this, this, this is so crazy. The soldiers, uh, this, is a, this is a report. And he sent some soldiers to shoot. To shoot these army worms. And so far there was one billion kwacha which was spent in shooting army worms. It's that crazy, you guys. Anyway, so a lot of people have been complaining. This, this guy asks how many days of prayers and fasting are we going to have? The next time we're going to be like, oh my God, there's no electricity in time. What are we going to do? I know, let's pray. There's no food on our table. I know, let's pray and wait for manna to fall from the heavens. Praying for our worms truly is a Christian, a Christian nation, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's 
just so crazy because even other people are saying this must be a joke so this is just stupid this is just stupid a sheer waste of money and the sheer waste of, of but this is what happens when you're so when you're in a place where you can't think on your own everything has whenever something is turned to religion everybody's scared to touch that because touch not my anointed bullshit gets brought into place nobody wants to think anymore nobody wants to look for solutions they want to pray and no no get tangible solutions tangible by tangible i mean get there and get some insecticide okay whatever chemicals use chemicals to get rid of those things and let the farmers grow their their crop that we might eat because what nothing ever got solved by kneeling down and facing makeup or whatever <sighs> so another issue this person's wife, she ain't getting any from her husband. She decides to get a fuck boy. Guess what the fuck boy does? He gets photos of her giving a blowjob, okay? And he starts blackmailing her. And guess what the name of this uh, pastor's group is? They're the Christians for Lungu. Lungu happens to be the president who asked to pray for the worms. So you know that it's so crazy like that. So she's getting, I mean, okay, fine. You're getting... <laughs> sex outside marriage as a christian so this is like the christians are so hypocritical they hate anything that to them is not their scene they're like oh my god we do not want um any homosexuals we do not want any of that shit. this is a christian nation but i'm gonna get sex from a person who i'm not married to that's okay but we don't just like that shit. we don't like you being all where you're sticking your private parts in another person of the same sex. We don't like that. It's a deadly sin. But thieves, okay. But say, okay, okay. Wearing clothes of the same color, okay, okay. Or different colors, I mean, okay. Mm, eating pork, okay. Homosexuals, no, that's a sin. Oh, it's so crazy. Anyway. So that's a Christian lungu for passes uh, in, a, in a sex scandal. Apparently there were rumors of him even standing for the third time. We don't know. We don't know. Anyway, we do. I'm just going to keep you updated on the prayers for the army worms. Decided to get on here and tell you about that shit. And don't forget to subscribe. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you here soon to update you on more crazy things happening in our country.